here in the fire department, we, we say the, the term May Day when the firemen's in trouble, and we think house fire. That was our May Day that day. Inside the firehouse, a call for help. Firefighter Tony Spagnoletti was having a heart attack. His captain called EMS and gave him nitroglycerin. Tony made it to Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center, but his heart stopped beating. Tony was dead, but he was inside the ER, and the medical team brought him back to life. Somebody was looking after him because it happened in the emergency room with the cardiology team and emergency room team right there. Even Tony's cardiologist thinks there was divine intervention. And every link in my chain of survival was absolutely perfect. On November 29, 2012, Tony woke up at the firehouse with a funny feeling. I came downstairs and thought, I'll sit on the couch and relax and, you know, try to see if this will pass. Tony had no medical problems that we knew of. And then I thought, hmm, this isn't right. I still have this pain, but, you know, I, I, I'm in good shape. His family did not have heart attacks. Yet Tony was having a heart attack at the age of 47. The pain started to get real severe. I, I got on the PA and said, Scotty, come down. And I remember praying, you know. Captain Scotty Emerson took Tony's blood pressure, gave him nitroglycerin, and called for an ambulance. When it's one of your own and you can't help, that was um, real uh, traumatizing to me because nothing I could do that day made Tony better. At the hospital, Tony's heart stopped. I remember my eyesight just kind of narrowed, and, and then it went to this kind of beautiful graduated light. Like if you were looking across the flat horizon um, just before the sun crest the sky, if you can picture that, just a beautiful, and I remember being at absolute perfect peace. Tony was dead. His heart arrested, uh, and he needed to be shocked and brought back to life. You know, just like that, I opened my eyes and I said to the nurse next to me, I said, what just happened? She said, uh, you know, we just defibrillated you. I said, whoa. Tony's widowmaker was completely blocked and needed a stent. The surgery was a success, and after seven weeks of cardiac rehab, Tony was back on duty. The good Lord worked such a miracle that day. You know, the right people in the right place at the right time, it made a huge difference. And coming up in our next half hour, do you really know the symptoms of a heart attack? Tony's an EMT, and even he was unsure. So we're going to be sitting down with Tony and his cardiologist, Dr. Robert Applegate, to talk about heart attack symptoms and how symptoms differ for men and for women. That's coming up for you this morning after 7.30. So what a powerful story. Yes, very. Oh, he gave me chills, Cindy, when I was talking with him and hearing all that and hearing how he said he was at absolute perfect peace that mm -hmm. moment when his heart had arrested and, and, and no, no signs or, or um, any symptoms prior to, no medical history right. of it. It's really something that we should all be thinking about. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. <laughs>